Are you looking for a show that has everything? A show that is full of fun? A show that is full of energy? Well, look no more. Because Others Corner is here for you. Yes, Others Corner is a platform where we give people to tell their stories and share with us their ideas, which you will be interested in knowing. In my corner, I discuss everything. Sports, entertainment, innovation, entrepreneurship and a lot more so join me this friday and every other friday on youtube at exactly 7 pm you missing you miss out yeah it's the other corner talk show Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You look wonderful also. Thank you. Um, tell me, Anna, tell me about yourself and what got you into music. Well, basically, uh, if if I would just if I would just summarize everything about Arnold, uh, I I am a lover of God, and um, I was born on the eighth of October, uh, Brookfield's uh, Hospital, to Lucinda Sisse and uh, Arnold K. Vavana Senior, who is late now, and uh, raised in church, and uh, I have been I have been a lover of God ever since. And uh, what got me presently, basically, into music was the fact that I had a beautiful voice, but then along the line, God had to bring me to the position and place where, wherein it has to be not only for my voice, but then for the voice to carry uh, something much more, and that is the anointing. And so, basically, it was just being raised in, in, in church and going to church, well, you have a voice, so just blend both together. That is just the singing. Uh, the, the AKF ministry, I want to say AFK. <laughs> <laughs> the AKF ministry, what does it entail? It's, it's a worship ministry that uh, majorly entails just uh, majorly about worship. Majorly about worship because uh, for, for, for what God has given unto me, it's, it's not to just explore or display voice and everything and this and that, but it's majorly centered about God, so it's worship in spirit and in truth, and that is what it's, it's all about. Probably if we see the, the empire of itself, the empire of itself uh, contains, um, uh, we have a, a photography studio, we have a live recording studio, and, uh, but the ministry of itself is just purely worship. And from your the, the biography I read about you, the AKF also comprises of the AKF Inspire. Yes, well, that's 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 the word. That was the that was the basically the uh, the photography part, but then we had to change a lot of things there. But so it's it's majorly the whole empire that entails the the photography part uh, and the live studio part where we do our own personal recordings and. Uh, yeah, majorly that's it. But then for the ministry of itself, it's just purely worship. Because that is what I feel. That, um, in the ministry, then we have the AKF team. That is like the musicians of itself, myself and the musicians together. And team, yes, teamwork. I believe in teamwork. And having a great team is something that brings good results. How strong is the AKF team? They, they are, they are, they are, I, I would say these are just young people that God has placed so much in, but yet to discover a lot. And so with the help of God and also with each and every one of us, because the Bible says, I am sharpened iron, so what we have, we can put in, in ourselves and then we're able to get the best out of each other. So, and most of the people in the team, they double as musicians and also as something much more than just a musician just not to play keyboard but we also have the one who plays the keyboard can also be the producer the one who um, sing can also be a videographer and so that is that is basically the, the entire teamwork that god has given unto us and so getting everyone together 
we're able to impact each other and we're able to grow. Being a gospel musician is not just something you think of overnight. You must have had an inspiration, of course. So what inspired you to go into gospel music? It was, it was, it was majorly, uh, well, I would, I would say a lot, lot of people, because when gr growing up, you, you, you see that you have a very good voice, but then you have also a lot of people that will just will say, oh, you have a very nice voice. Oh, why not do this? Why not do that? But uh, it, was, it was majorly most of the people that I saw, uh, especially when growing up, like the likes of um, C.C. Winans, like the likes of uh, um, Minister Iban Wright Samura, Pastor Samuel Johnson, and a uh, host of other people. And so that was, that was basically, and then in, in, in all this, God used them to be able to take me to that other level. And so inspiration comes in. Some might say that they were inspired by God, but for me, God used people to be able to speak into my life and to be able to help me to grow from one level to another. So the source was God, but then he used men to be able to do a lot of things in my life. How many years have you been into gospel music? It's 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 quite it's quite different for me because most people, especially when it comes to especially when it comes to Sierra Leone and where we are, we think that music is just when you start singing. That is when you, you are into music. Because for me, I have been singing for like 15, 15, 17 years, but I have been into professional music, not like uh, just singing here and there, but professional music. It's about three years now, like professional music, but I've been singing for quite a while. All right, so during your, okay, I'm going to count from the 17 to three years. I'll join it to 20 years. During your 20 years of kind of, kind of, or should I say, <laughs> really yeah. the, the, the whole beginning stuff and now to the serious thing, what's your favorite song you've ever released? Wow, it, it's, it's, it's quite difficult to say. It's just like uh, you will have children, and uh, for you to say this is your favorite will, will be will be difficult at some point. Oh, I I I feel for me. Uh, what would I say? Nobody like you. That was my first song. That was my first song, and it's 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 quite dear to my heart because it's it's not like it just came like that. I I wanted to do something else. My first song would have been another song else, but then I have already made everything. And by the time I went home, and God, uh, God did something, and that inspired nobody like you. So, if I was in my favorite song, well, I guess nobody like you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, being into gospel music is not just something you do overnight. Like I said initially, you need to be doing some research, improve on your skills, and all. So do you think you could get better as a gospel musician? If yes, how do you try to achieve that? The, when, 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 when it comes to life in general, and when it comes to music in general, you don't stop learning. Even the ones we look up to that are aged now, uh, the likes of probably we we'll say Don Moore, that are old now, probably the likes of um, Pastor Ron Kennelly, who is about 70 something years old, he never stops learning. And so, and in that, in that part, you, you never stop learning when it comes to music. Because every single thing, every single thing you, God opens your eyes to a different dispensation. God opens your eyes to a different dimension. And so a different skill of learning. So you, you n never stop learning. And most of, most of these things um, that I take into consideration, especially that, that aids me it's 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 a step of consistency consistency helps you consistency helps you because you want to be consistent in everything you do so you never stop the habit of learning always doing research um, going out uh, to to now getting even speaking with people you're, you're doing something about it even um, reading getting stuff from from different different parts different different things and uh probably even now what what, what one of, of the things that will always hinder you is when you reach a point that you feel that you have arrived and that hinders you a lot because then you're you're not you're you're never able to go past that level and that is what has 
what will affect uh, someone who wants to be a musician because your consistency thrives upon you being able to be open to be teachable and learn at all times then you're able to grow from grace to grace yes, uh, consistency is key you know, whatever you do be it um, a gospel musician an entrepreneur an innovator or any other thing like consistency goes a long way True. Arnold, if you we are not a gospel artist or gospel musician. What would you be doing right now? Well, I'm presently uh, finally a student mechanical engineering, so I think that that works. Okay, 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 okay you're doing that. That's cool. But let, let's assume that you are not. You are not, and you are not Oof. a gospel musician. Well, I, I, I won't I won't just term as just a gospel musician. Then I would also term if I well then I, I won't have anything to live for, because for me gospel music is not about just singing, it's about a whole spiritual level that I have to attain, and for me spirituality is key, and especially I I am I am a worship minister, I am also a worshiper because a worship minister leads people, but a worshiper also worships when leading the people. So for me generally it's uh, my life is under the influence of the Holy Spirit and of God. So if I'm not into what he has called me into, then uh, I don't think I have much to live for. Because aside from singing, and I don't think I have another skill. Thinking of something to live for, what would you want your fans to remember you for as an old king for fun? Someone that loved God and uh, not, not someone that people loved because of his talent, but people loved him because he loved God and they were able to be influenced to that same God, that same, that same God that, that, he, that he, 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 he loves so much. And so the moment we start to get that and the moment we, the Bible says, if I be lifted up, I will draw men to myself. The moment we start to get Jesus to be the focus and the pivot of what we do, then he's able to take us far and wide. And so, for me, people just remember me as someone who loved the Lord, who, is, who was addicted to Jesus, and that influenced more people to be able to come to Christ. AKS, AKF, pardon me, <laughs> I'm still finding it difficult because I find it AKF. I know, people just, people AKF. get AFK and I just say, <laughs> Anyone. nevertheless, it's the same. AKF ministry has been in existence for over... Uh, well, it's three years now. Three years, three years successes. It has been it has been wonderful. Just coming into just coming into professional music, it was okay. So first of all, we started. We were about seven. We had to drop and we had to come back again to seven. But now we're eight. So we started with with um, people just having one skill. But then as we grew, we started multitasking, and uh, so that was one success for me because uh, I had someone who was not producing who was just a piano player, is now producing some of my covers. I had someone who was, who was only singing, is now handling my media in terms of photography. I had someone who, who was singing, uh, becomes my manager. I had someone, manager for the team. I had someone who was playing the drums, becomes my personal manager. So everyone was, was multitasking. I think that's a success. And also, uh, we're able to get um, about 12, 12 awards in just in just two years and uh so that was that was quite amazing for us because so okay uh i think uh one 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 of one of which will be the highlight uh of my of all the awards will be uh, national entertainment award i think that was in 2018 for best gospel um artist and uh i've i've had two gospel academy awards I think the first one I had in 2018 was for um, Song of the Year, Nobody Like You. And uh, in 2019 was uh, Best Male Vocalist of the Year. And uh, I would say um, Eminence Africa, Young Musician of Excellence. And uh, I would say Slam, Slam I think I had three. Uh, one was for, one was in 2018 for Best uh, Gospel Upcoming. And in 2019, we had two, uh, which was for, uh, I think it was, okay, collaboration of the year uh, for Speak To Me, and that was two. And so we had Slam Awards, um, we had Sledu 
Salon DJ's Union uh, Gospel Artist of the Year. I'm trying to look at the shelf and then think of the ones that are okay. Charlene Entertainment Award was another one in America that we had also. And uh, so I'm 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 I'm, I'm, I'm actually thinking <laughs> thinking a lot. We go for a short break and when we come back, we shall continue with our conversation. Are you looking for a show that has everything? A show that is full of fun? A show that is full of energy? Well, look no more. Because Others Corner is here for you. Yes, Others Corner is a platform where we give people to tell their stories and share with us their ideas, which you will be interested in knowing. In my corner, I discuss everything. Sports, entertainment, innovation, entrepreneurship and a lot more so join me this friday and every other friday on youtube at exactly 7 pm you missing you miss out yeah it's the others corner talk show welcome back this is others corner and it's now fun time and we're gonna have some green teaser questions yes yeah, so oh. questions <laughs> <laughs> and i'm sure my guest freddy arnold are you hmm. ready <laughs> yes I'll, I'll i'll try my best. Try best okay first of all if you were to be an animal what animal would you be uh, I'll, I'll say mm. i'll say ego why ego because ego has some very good features, especially ego flies alone. Alone in a sense, ego flies only in his in his realm. Now, when ego wants to pray, he he doesn't. He comes down, picks up what he wants, and takes it to his realm. And by taking him or taking it to his realm, then at some altitude, certain animals they just die naturally. So he doesn't kill them basically. They just die at certain altitude. And so eagle flies alone. And eagle has the tendency to thrive in pressure. He 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 moves against now he uses the wind in his favor. That means you use trouble in your favor. So that is just two. And he has more attributes and uh, he, he does not you say about the same flock together. Do you see eagles and other birds flying together? But it's, it's not that he's being proud, but he's just soaring in another dimension that he has been called to do. And sometimes separation gives you the empowerment to do more. When was the last time you danced? Uh, I think it was, it, was, it was at home. Most of the time I, I, I dance because, especially when I, well, this is personal, but then when I pray, I, I dance before God because that is something spiritual. Well, not normal dance. I, I don't do normal dance. Uh, I don't know how I to dance. I was thinking for you to dance for me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Some style. It will, it, will, it, will, it will be very difficult. Even even when I'm on stage, because I have more fa I have more more fast songs. I don't I don't dance a lot because I don't know. And also I have you don't I have know how to dance. the That's weight nice. and also it's That's it's 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 quite it's 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 quite difficult to just to just shake. <laughs> Anyways, what was the weirdest thing you've ever done? Ooh. Weird, well, it's difficult to say. Say? Probably forget the lyrics or something. But then I, I end up using something else. You forgot, <laughs> so, you forgot a lyrics? Yes, uh, on a very important occasion. But I end up doing something else, so. I, 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 it, it's, it's, I, 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 w I want to understand what, what word is in fact, because in this, in this day <laughs> of our Lord, word is the new normal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, word is the new normal, yes. Yeah, people are wearing, you say, I oh, know that's normal. That's normal. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, people say it's normal to be wearing. Yeah, so that's, that's majorly it. <laughs> what was the first thing you bought with your own money as an official <laughs> Whoa. But well, my own money. Ah. Mm, mm, mm. 
That's why it's a brain teaser. I give my guests time. I, I, I would say, I would say, my own money. Yes. <laughs> I don't is, is it is it is it is it possible that because when, when we were young, when we used to sing, you used to come and put money in your pocket. <laughs> so is it that money or the one that? <laughs> just just tell me what have you actually bought with your own money? Well, if 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 I would say the one that I bought with my own personal money, I think it would be, it would be it would be drums. It would be drums. Yes, when I started owning something. Because I had to set up something for myself. So when I had that money, if it was at that point, I, I think it was, it would be drums. I was thinking you would tell me ice cream because just like you said, when, when I was young, then we used to see. Well, if, 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 if it was that, I didn't buy anything. I gave my mom. You? you know, we were small. I know, right? You gave your mom. Yes. Yeah. Your old mom. So. <laughs> <laughs> so what languages do you speak? Uh, I, I speak uh, English, I speak, uh, well, Creole. I used to speak a little bit of French, but it's, 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 quite, it's quite difficult. Probably, uh, I think I, I only, I'm only able to get it well, probably when I, when, I, when I travel, especially when I go to foreign countries, then I'm just able to adapt a bit and get myself in tune. But it's not like I'm, I'm actually that frequent in it. Or that fluent in it, sorry. I'm asking about the native language, like. Oh my my no no. I even even Yenuali it was difficult because Yenuali is a squanko, but we have some people around that speaks the language. So that was when I had to get more people to semi translation of what I wanted to do. But I don't know how. To, I'm actually Limba, but I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to speak Limba. You know where the they will say posh Limba. Yeah. Okay, French. So how do you say where are you going? I don't know. You don't know. <coughs> you don't know. I, I only I, I only know okay, a little so, bit. Okay, tell me what do you know? What do you know? Uh, bonjour, comment ça va, ça va bien, merci. Uh, bonjour, I think it's good afternoon. And uh, ça va bien, merci, I'm good. Uh, C'est bon, I think that's good. And uh, um, uh, this one I actually know it because when you speak, when I message someone, especially for those that are my French um, friends, and then they send a message that I don't understand, uh, c'est ne comprend pas français, or c'est petit petit, so then they will know that he doesn't understand much in much of French. <laughs> um, how would you want your house, your future house, to look like? I, I have how I want my house to look like. I know you have how you want your house to look like. So how would you want your future house? To look like? It it has to be it has to be it has to be big. How big? And uh, well, big enough probably a duplex, duplex, and uh, have the rooms up and then my stuff sit down. Uh, have a studio, but not in the house, but probably uh, at the boys' quarter of the house, and uh, probably inside just have a piano for my personal use because I also love my privacy, and uh, have a gym. And uh, the dining have a very big TV. Have also a movie room. Then the rooms are up. I think and that's it. Here imagining um, the, the room, the TV room. Yes, and then all 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 around we have different different colors, and uh, yeah, then we have a big sign of Anal K for Fana. That's all. Please just ask me <laughs> to pay you. Don't the construction of the house. Please, I want to go there. I, <laughs> I know, right? Anyway, very personal question. Are you into a relationship? For now, no. I was before, but my 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 schedule was difficult and so no for now no. What caused the breakup? Well it was quite it was quite personal and uh, but it, it's it's at a point where we have to understand also Ministry is also important to me, and that is one of the major things in my life for now, although the other things also come comes first, but ministry is also very, very important, and my alignment with god has to be has to be on point so if everyone if anyone has to come in it, they have to come in under that umbrella of God is first in his life, and then we are all able to flow in that same thing together so you're probably saying that you're not ready for a relationship now. 
Well, not 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 really, not really, because that there's a lot God wants to do, but I know in His time He makes everything possible. In his time. True. Um, do you cook? Can you cook? E, well, not not the conventional cook as in rice and uh, everything, uh, but I think I do get um, plantain. Uh, I'm talking about serious thing, Arnold. You just egg. <laughs> you fry egg and boil egg. Tuna. Uh, what again? Mm. Yeah, chips. Uh. <laughs> Arnold, the style of the things we fry. I'm thinking, can you cook as in cassava leaves? Oh, no, no, no. But uh, that is all part of cooking. <laughs> <laughs> That's all part of cooking. That is all part of cooking. Yes, and also we're able to uh, warm water. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's not something you say at you know, warming water. It's, it's normal. Well, so, some people actually leave the water to evaporate. So <laughs> that, is a, that is a very good skill. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, have you ever been told that you look like someone else? When, when, when coming up, uh, especially. Uh, I think it had to be at a point. Well, it's not like facially, but in terms of voice-wise, that was what that was what happened. Like, probably when I started, probably somewhere saying that I, I sang like R. Kelly, and uh, I grew to a point somewhere saying that Sierra Leone Sonny Badu, which was like, no, no, I don't like this because majorly people will know you for who you are. They will just tag you to someone else. So some somewhere saying that. Uh, uh, Sierra Leone, Sonny Badu, and so I think they they compared me to Sonny Badu. Probably one because of the voice, and two, I I had this look that I was yeah. So that was why. I have been following you, and um, I don't see you post more often. I just post stuff about your programs or something that is coming up an event. How often do you use social media? A lot. But for for relevant purpose, uh, social media is an extension of who you are. Some might some might say no, but on, on subconsciously it's an extension of who you are. And so, you we need to be very careful how we handle the social media. It's it's a very good tool. Trust me, I am on social media like all the time, but I'm very limited on what I post and. Uh, it only it has to be related. It has to be something that will impact someone at some point. So if I'm if I'm even inviting you for an event, it's an event that will impact you. Or if I'm sending a post out, it is something that will impact your life. Let let our life be an expression of the grace of God. Use the term gospel musicians, but it has to be a reflection of Christ. So I post not often, but relevant stuffs that will bless someone's life. And uh, I have a lot of handles, like, and I'm also very learned when it comes to the social media part. When it when it comes to social media, I know how to handle Facebook, this and that, and everything, to get stocks to grow up, and what to do, what not to do. All right, okay, continue to start with us before we go. But now we are gonna take a song from Arnold K. Vovana, and it's called Me One. Yes, am I right? Yenwali. Yenwali. <laughs> <laughs> Are you looking for a show that has everything? A show that is full of fun? A show that is full of energy? Well, look no more. Because Others Corner is here for you. Yes, Others Corner is a platform where we give people to tell their stories and share with us their ideas, which you will be interested in knowing. In my corner, I discuss everything. Sports, entertainment, innovation, entrepreneurship and a lot more so join me this friday and every other friday on youtube at exactly 7 pm you missing you miss out yeah it's the other corner talk show solo Just can't get enough of it 
the way you're blessing me It ain't blow my mind The things you're giving me I just can't get enough I know This your love is so strong Your love can make out and say Make out and say Make out and say Make out and say You didn't make out and make out and say by Arnold K. Fofana and it's called Yen Wani. Arnold, before we go, I want an acapella of you and told me life around. Oh, mm -hmm. yes, that, that song is, it has blessed my life in fact. Uh -huh. It has blessed my life. It's, 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 it's a story of what God did. And so, it has blessed my life. Uh, I've come to testify with my hands I glorify you Of all the things that you do Things that you do So Papaya, Papaya, Papaya You don't turn me life around You don't turn me life around Turn me life around Papaya, Papaya, Papaya You don't pull me past shame yeah. <laughs> and I was there then saying Papaya. Oh, that is that is that and is something. Um, talking about social media, I believe that's a medium where most of your fans have access to you. So, what's your relationship with your fans? I I I I, I tend to keep them um, very busy, as in what what we post and uh, what we do we do. Mostly, I send um, one mini videos of, uh, especially on, on Facebook because it's it's on different different platforms. So majorly of my stuff are on YouTube. So I just send extracts on Facebook and on Instagram, like one minute, and then refer people to my YouTube account to just follow and then look the whole thing. And so getting getting all these things together now, posting relevant stuffs to them, uh, my thoughts, uh, posting videos and. Uh, Sometimes just going live and doing some videos, live videos, live worship videos with them, connecting with people. And so that is, that is also something that, that, that we do. Uh, you, 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 will not, you will not have everyone of your fans, but you, you know that you just leave it there. They are com they're coming to watch. And so when they watch those, you do so what you did. And uh, we, we, also, we also most times get discussions wherein Probably I just come online and reply to all the messages. So if, if you're online and you see, I just reply to your message and we can just have a chat for probably two, three minutes and then I go off again. Uh, lastly, how do you plan to, to go the AKF ministry? We, 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 we plan to expand in terms of uh, Getting what, what the Bible would term as the anointing starts from the head of Aaron down to the skirt of his garments. That means probably from myself and what God has given unto me down to a lot of people. So expanding even to those that are around me, they're on practically contract basis for three, four years. You're in the team, you're in the ministry, learn and then you move out and get other people to be able to come also and we help them. So it's like just getting the flow throughout that is that is an expansion in 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 number and also in discipleship and that is one of the expansions i i, I feel like it's especially for me not for not for another person else but for me it's quite important so discipleship and getting people to be able to come in just get a whole lot of knowledge and go out and then pour on other people because what what will happen is you need to be a tree that bears fruit and these fruits even when you're gone they will say that this was what um, this person impacted in my life that got me to this position and that was what happened to Archbishop Duncan um, Archbishop Idahusa when he 
he was one that poured out in so many pastors all the pastors now the bishops and everything they are always talking about him because of what he did so even when he died years ago but because of what he did so all the pastors top pastors in the world right now they will not tell you that they were not influenced by him so that is something uh, thank you so much for joining us today Maria. it's Hi. a pleasure Many thanks to my guest and to the rest of the audience for the team. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Yes, share, like and subscribe to Audience Corner. We are on Facebook again, Audience Corner Talk Show. On Twitter, Audience Corner Talk Show. Continue to stay safe for COVID-19 fear and take all necessary precautions to combat COVID-19. So until the next week, I have been Audience Corner. Goodbye and so on.